Hello mga kawamat! In this video lesson, we will discuss the properties of sigma notation. So the first property, the summation of a constant taken from 1 to n is equal to n multiplied by a constant. So the summation of c or the constant where i is from 1 to n is equal to n times c. So ibig sabihin kung constant yung nandito, Ang gagawin lang natin para makuha natin yung summation niya, i-multiply lang natin yung constant natin dito dun sa value ng n. For example, meron tayong summation of 10 where i is from 1 to 8. So since constant, ibig sabihin wala tayong kas walang kasamang variable. So sundan lang natin yung formula. I-multiply lang natin itong constant natin dito sa value niya. So, 10 times 8 or 8 times 10, the answer is 80. So, madali lang kapag ang given o ang nakalagay dito ay constant. So, madali lang kunin yung summation niya. Another property, the summation of a constant multiplied by a variable is equal to a constant multiplied by the summation of a variable. So, for example, we have the summation of c times x sub i. So, meron tayong constant times dun sa variable natin x sub i where i is from 1 to n. So, paano gawin yan? So, yung constant natin, ilalagay natin dun sa unahan ng summation natin and then maiiwan yung variable na x sub y dito. So, paano gagawin ito? Una, kukunin muna natin yung summation niya saka natin i-multiply doon sa constant. So again, kukunin muna natin yung summation nito. So kagaya nito, x sub 1, since nag-start yung i natin sa 1, up to x sub n, and then kung ano yung sagot dyan, i-multiply natin sa constant natin. So for example, meron tayong the summation of 2 times x sub i, where i is from 1 to n, so, ang mangyayari itong constant natin na 2 ay ilalagay natin sa unahan ng summation natin. So, magiging ganito. So, uh, another property of sigma notation, the summation of an expression which has two or more quantities is equal to the sum of their summation. So, for example, meron tayong the summation of the quantity x sub i squared minus x sub i plus 2. So, merong involved na operation. Subtraction and addition. So, paano natin gagawin? So, una, paghihiwalayin lang natin and then kunin natin yung summation ng bawat isa. So, magiging the summation of x sub i squared where i, so ito, pare-pareho sila ng ganyan. Where i start with 1 at mag -e end siya dito sa variable n. And then, Susundan lang natin yung operation minus, paghiwalayin lang natin ito, so the summation of x sub i, where i is equal to 1 from, uh, where i is from 1 to n. Plus, since yung 2 natin is constant, so ganin din, the summation of 2, where i is from 1 to n. So, uh, ibig sabihin class, kapag ganito yung case, Paghihiwalayin lang natin, kunin muna natin yung summation nito, summation nito at summation nito, saka uh, pagsamahin. So like for example, this one, the summation of x sub i or the quantity of x sub i minus 4. So paghihiwalayin lang natin, so the summation of x sub i uh, where i is from 1 to n minus the summation of 4 since 4 is constant where i is from 1 to n. Okay, so evaluate natin yung mga given gamit yung tatlong properties ng sigma notation. So let x sub 1 is equal to 8, x sub 2 is equal to 9, x sub 3 is equal to 12, x sub 4 is equal to 15, and x sub 5 is equal to 6. x sub 6 is equal to 3, x sub 7 is equal to 10, x sub 8 is equal to 5, x sub 9 is equal to 2, and x sub 10 is equal to 1. So, evaluate the summation of 8 times x sub i. So, meron tayong constant na 8. And then, x sub i, 
where i is from 1 to 5. So, papalitan natin itong i ng 1 to 5. And then, yung 8 natin, kagaya ng nabanggit kanina sa isa sa mga property natin, ilalagay natin yung constant na ito dun sa unahan ng summation natin. So, kunin muna natin yung summation na x sub i, saka natin i-multiply kay 8. So, so, ano mangyayari? So, substitute natin yung i natin. So, yung i natin ay mula 1 hanggang 5. So, x 8 times the quantity of x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 plus x sub 4 plus x sub 5. And then, mula dun sa given natin, so may mga value ito. So, yung x sub 1 natin ay 8. Yung x sub 2 natin 9. Yung x sub 3 natin is 12. Yung x sub 4 natin is 15. And then, yung x sub 5 natin is 6. And then, i-add lang natin muna yan. So, add muna natin. 8 plus 9 plus 12 plus 15 plus 6 is 50. Saka natin i-multiply dun sa constant natin na 8. So, 8 times 50, the answer is 400. Next, so the given is summation of x sub i is equal to 55 where i is from 1 to 10. The summation of y sub i is equal to 65 where i is from 1 to 10. And the summation of z sub i is equal to 165 where i is from 1 to 10. So evaluate the summation of the quantity of x sub i plus y sub i plus, plus z sub i where i is from 1 to 10. So, ang gagawin natin dito, paghiwalayin natin, then kunin muna natin yung summation ng bawat isa. So, maging summation of x sub i where i is from 1 to 10 plus the summation of y sub i where i is from 1 to 10 and plus uh, the summation of z sub i where i is from 1 to 10. And since may value yung x sub i natin dito, ito, and that is 55, so isa-substitute lang natin, ibig sabihin ang value nito ay 55, and then yung value nito ay 65, at yung value naman nito ay 165. So add lang natin, 55 plus 65 plus 165, the answer is 285. So same given, evaluate. The quantity of 3 times x sub i plus 4 times y sub i minus 7. So, meron tayong constant na 7. And then, dito meron din tayong constant na 3 and 4. So, unang gagawin, paghiwalayin muna natin. So, ilalagay natin yung constant na 3 sa unahan ng summation natin. So, the summation of x sub i or 3 times the summation of x sub i where i is from 1 to 10, plus, ito rin yung kasunod, yung 4 na constant, ilalagay natin sa unahan, plus 4 times the summation of y sub i, where i is from 1 to 10, minus yung constant natin, so wala, hindi natin yan ilalagay dito sa unahan, dito lang siya, so maiwan siya dito, since constant yan, the summation of 7 from of where i is from 1 to 10. So, kunin muna natin yung summation nito. Mula dun sa given natin, ang value nito ay 55. So, maging 3 times 55. And then, yung value nito ay 65. So, that is 4 times 65 minus, since ito ay constant, so, nabanggit sa isa sa mga property natin kanina, Kapag constant ito, imumultiply lang natin sa number dito. So, 7 times 10. Simplify. 3 times 55, that is 165. 4 times 65, that is 260. Minus 7 times 10, minus 70. So, 165 plus 260 minus 70. The answer is 355. Next. So, the scores of 5 students in mathematics are 75, 80, 97, 91, and 63. So, find the, value, uh, find the following of x represent a score. So, again, x, is, uh, x represent a score. First is the summation of x. Since kukunin lang natin yung summation ng x, so itong lahat ng to ay score. So, ang gagawin lang natin, 
So, add lang natin lahat ng scores. So, 75 plus 80 plus 97 plus 91 plus 63 by using your calculator para ma-check nyo kung tama yung answer is 406. Next. So, find the value of x or the summation of x squared. So, since may squared tayo, ang gagawin lang natin, lagyan natin ng squared yung lahat ng score. So, 75 squared plus 80 squared plus 97 squared plus 91 squared plus 63 squared. So, again, using your calculator, the answer is 33,684. So, how about pag may ganito tayo, the, sum, the quantity of summation of x squared. Kumbaga ito, nasa loob siya ng parenthesis natin and then in-squared natin. So, paano natin uh, kukunin yung sum nito? So, una, so kagaya ng ginawa natin dito, so i-add muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis natin. So, add muna natin 75 plus 80 plus 97 plus 91 plus 63 and that is 406. Saka natin i-squared. So, 406 squared. The answer is 1, uh, 164,836. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.